treat me like a human being. Sorry, Roger. Sorry, Mr. Rather Mr. than, did I say start? Back with a little update for you. When we reviewed the cordless 54 volt DeWalt track saw, we talked about dust extraction. And a lot of people commented on it and said quite rightly that if you're using a cordless saw, the last thing you wanna be doing is plugging in to use a dust extractor. So you need a cordless dust extractor. Now there are a number of these on the market these days and they a lot of them use Bluetooth to connect between the tool and the dust extractor. So when you're using it and you want to switch it on, rather than having to go down and laboriously operate the switch here, you can actually remotely do it just by operating the saw. But the trouble with those is, if you check out the price, you could end up spending a thousand quid very, very easily on that system. So here is a more affordable option. When I say affordable, that still doesn't make it cheap. So what we're looking at here is a dust extractor which works on any of the cordless tools. It doesn't even matter whether they're DeWalt or not. It will work on everything. It will also double up as a vacuum cleaner. This is our track saw in here. And there's the drill. And then on the bottom here, we've got the dust extractor. Now the dust extractor is fully contained. So we stick the standard hose on, which is the one that comes with it. But what you'll notice is that doesn't give you a great deal of travel. If you're trying to rip down eight by four sheets with a track saw, you don't want a silly little hose like that. So what you really need to get hold of, the only way this is gonna work satisfactorily for you is to get yourself an extension hose and the extension hose just simply locks into place like that. It's a really good fit. Sometimes they're a bit frustrating, these extension hoses. And then the other end goes straight onto your power tool. So it's, a, it's not a universal fitting that, but the good news is that if you did want to adapt it to another tool that wasn't a DeWalt one, you've got the standard end there, which you could put another multi adapter onto. So there you are, you've got the plenty of hose to do the job with now. So what we have down here is the 18 stroke 54 volt battery, which just simply goes in there. And we've got an on off switch, which will allow it to fire up. We've also got a flow adjustment here because this is what we call the M-Class dust extractor with the HEPA filters. So we want to be able to regulate that signal. So if you're using something like the, the small router, which we will be using later. So you can go for 20 liters a minute or 32 liters a minute. In this case, we're using the track saw. We'll go for 32 liters a minute, and then we can plug into the track saw. And what we have here, most importantly, is a little remote control, which you can Put around your wrist if you want to and what we do with that is we switch it over in into remote position and then we can switch it on and off from there now we have tested this uh, we've tested it at 30 meters away and it still works but of course you wouldn't really want to be using it at that distance you're only ever going to use it as far away as your hose and your tool are but it means you can park that dust extractor up and you can operate it quite simply on your wrist so it's a very affordable idea rather than bluetoothing everything up and having to buy all those new power tools you can use this as i say with any power tool you like and a very nice little unit t-stack obviously so it goes on the bottom or on the top or wherever you want to do it and if we look inside We'll just see what we've got inside here. We'll have to take it off in order to do this. Lift it off. And we look inside and then you can see that we've got two filters, two HEPA filters here. This is the HEPA filter bag. You can also get ordinary bags which are paper bags which will obviously be cheaper but this is the top of the range one and this is compatible with the requirements if you're using things like mdf 
and you really don't want that dust in your lungs then getting the HEPA filter bag is a better bet. So we've got two removable filters here which we can take off when they get clogged up but hopefully if you've got that bag in place it won't be an issue. So that's it, it's a nice little unit, nice and compact and it's M class and complies fully with most sites. The only one that is better than the M class is the H class. If you remember it's high, medium and the other one is the L class, the low which quite honestly on a lot of sites they won't allow you to use anymore. So I'll just leave you with one final observation is that when you've finished using the tool the best thing you can do is simply to switch this on and shake that hose out thoroughly to clear the hose because if you don't you'll end up doing what I did because you've got this lovely dust filter but then you end up filling the back of your van with the sawdust because you've chucked the hoses in the back when they're full of dust. So if you haven't seen our track saw, our DeWalt 54 volt track saw review, that's up here, you can watch that straight away. And if you want to compare track saw with track saw, if you've not decided which one you want to buy, then you can also look at our showdown, which is here. So click on either of those and you can see the full story.